Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog. These are mung beans. Mung beans grow in China and to um, they harvest them and then the workers lay them on the road so they're quite dusty when you get them and so you need to rinse them a lot. <laughs> but it's got the magic of China in the dust and dust is good for you, right? And all the minerals. So anyway, you, you take these mung beans and Soak them for 12 hours after you rinse them and wash them, right? You soak them, and I like to soak them in my sprout bag because, and then I lay the whole bag right here in my draining, the draining thingy. And then I can just wash it and let it drip right in my draining rack. So then during the day, I let it sit in the sun, and between rinses, I put on a weight because that helps keep the sprouts in a mat. You can do it without the weight. You can keep them all loose, but um, to do the typical mung bean mat, you want to keep a weight and then reduce the weight every day. So if you just take a thing of water and then pour some out every day, and then the next day weight it again. Let's pour it in here instead of wasting water. <laughs> every day weight it. And if you want, you can eat them anytime you want. If you wait just one day, they'll just be a little bit, of course, and the next day a couple inches. So these are three-day sprouts, and they look like this. And you, while you're rinsing them, you don't want to rinse them around and around with your hand because it'll loosen them. You want to keep the mat. So wash them just right in the bag, and then let them drain in something. And we're going to make two recipes with them today. Actually, these mung beans have vitamins A, E, and K, B, and B6. They have assorted minerals, um, calcium, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, a little bit of copper. Uh, so they're super good for you. And so uh, one of the easiest things you can do is to take them and make a sprout mix. So um, a spicy sprout mix. So you can put them in here in a glass jar. I'll put half of them in there. And then put all kinds of seasonings. So here's all my seasonings. We've got some onions and garlic and rosemary from my plant. And all this recipe is found underneath the blog, underneath the uh, YouTube there. And then we've got some thyme and oregano and marjoram. This is a tablespoon of each, by the way, and some crystallized sea salt. And then I'm going to just cover that with a few more sprouts and shake it up. Oh, you could put a little bit of oil in there, just a touch, so we don't like a lot of oil. That's sesame oil, by the way, but you could do olive oil and shake it up. So these are your spicy sprouts. You can do this with any kind of sprout. These are mung bean spicy sprouts. And then the other thing I'm going to do is make a mung bean salad. And this is, these two recipes are for slice of heaven. So there you go, slice of heaven. You wanted some, some mung bean recipes. So we're going to pour the mung bean sprouts in here. And by the way, I did an uh, almost tuna recipe by Alyssa Cohen. And these mung bean sprouts are a great addition. I mean, they really make the dish good. So we'll pour the sprouts in there. And then for my salad today, I'm going to add some of my alfalfa sprouts, which you can see in, I think, our very, very first YouTube, Kevin. We did alfalfa and clover sprouts. And we'll add some snow peas. some cabbage and carrots. So isn't that going to be a pretty salad? And then I'm going to add some uh, last of our dried cilantro from last year that we dried. And a little bit of red pepper. And some cucumber. And then, if I can just uh, stir my dressing, 
This is a ginger dressing, which is great for oriental dishes. And you can make this really easily with a couple tablespoons of um, sesame, you know, tahini or almond butter or cashew butter, and then just a little bit of Bragg's or soy sauce and some water, lemon juice, your typical dressing. And this recipe is below as well. I'm just going to pour that over all. And this serves very simple but incredibly delicious mung bean salad to have for dinner tonight. In fact, that's what we're going to have. And uh, today I especially want to thank all the um, people who subscribe to this blog and who give me so much motivation to continue. Thank you so much for your comments. From Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog. I'm blushing, Kelly. <laughs>